Today I will be reading Toxic in Love with a Regular. This story was made by a five-year-old girl called Kate Dye. Chapter 1 It all started with the war. It all started with the war. Hunters versus regulars versus toxics. A lot of people or robots died that day. All the hunters and regulars killed all the toxics. Except one. He's a young age, but he is very powerful. He is five years old. His colors are green, yellow, gray, black, and red. He has green and black wings. They look like devil or dragon wings, a hunter said. A regular was thinking, should I perform tests on him? Thinking and thinking and thinking over and over. He finally answered, yes, I'll be performing lots of tests on him. Oh, and Freddy, an older animatronic, was nice and tried to stop war. No one stopped, sadly. Morton heard crying, Mama, Dada, over and over. He followed the cries. He got closer and closer each step. He peeked around the corner. He whispered to himself, A baby toxic? But all toxics died. How is he alive? He asked. As all his thoughts and questions ran through his head, he wanted to help. He didn't want to scare the poor thing. He put his hand on his shoulder. Get away, he cried. Molten tried to help. Hey, I'm not here to hurt you, he said, and then looked at the dead bodies. Are these your parents, he asked. The little one was filled in fear and couldn't speak. Mullen handed him a bag of fresh food. He sniffed the bag. You can have it. You must have been hungry for a week, he said. After all, it has been a week before war. He opened the bag for him and put seven apple slices in front of him. He started eating. He had a hydro flask he carries with him at all times just in case an emergency happens. He filled it with water and gave it to him. Are these your parents? He asked again. He nodded his head up and down. Molten felt bad. You want to come with me? He knew he could trust him. After all, he did get food and water from him. He shook and stuttered. He, yes and followed him home. He told Molten, I'm getting tired, and yawned. Molten carried him the rest of the way. They finally came home. Molten thought, he's adorable when he's asleep. Brian and the others saw what he had brought in. What is that trash doing here? Rockstar Freddy yelled. Molten was mad at what he had heard. Wake up, Toxic, he said. He woke up in fear. Stand right here. And Tossic listened. Rockstar Freddy told Spring Bonnie to cut the net. Spring Bonnie cut the net. Molten heard crying. He turned around to see. Toxic was caught in the net. Let him go, he demanded. He's only five years old, he yelled. Although Freddy, Foxy, and more did not agree. Only Spring Bonnie and Brian agreed. Spring Bonnie was secretly taking off the net. He held Toxic in his arms and gave him water. Toxic soon relaxed and drank more water. About ten years later, he had, finally, he had fully grown wings. He can't remember any of the past. Spring Bonnie reminded Molten once more, you have to tell him about his parents, you know. Molten knew, and he would. He walked to Toxic. Toxic, he said in a low, sad voice. Yes, Dad, he responded, not knowing Molten Freddy wasn't his father. He started explaining to him. Your parents died in war. 
we had a big fight and, well, they didn't make it. Toxic broke into tears. Tox, he interrupted before he finished. No, you killed them. I hate you. And he flew away. He thought he was stolen. He just didn't understand. Molten was waiting for him to come back. That is the end of chapter one. Chapter two will be released soon. It depends on how much you want. Well, I'll see you next time.